Hello and welcome to DCF 3 or less from Got Space Game. I'm Dan and today we're in the Hornet learning how to use the Harm Anti-Radiation Missile in Target of Opportunity mode. As usual, control bindings will be up on the screen at the end of the video. Let's go. Air to ground mode, check Master Arm is on. Select your Harm, Target of Opportunity mode, sensor select left to the Harm page. Silence the radar. On the right hand screen, bring up your EW page and set up countermeasures as desired. Optionally, you can set your ECM to transmit and set your RWR to offset mode. Bring up the SA page, designate your target waypoint, turn on your sequence as desired. We're all set up, so let's begin our attack run. The harm screen on the left hand side shows your targets in azimuth and elevation mode. So it's not like a top-down display, but more like the missile actually sees the targets. We're going to pop up and unmask so that the enemy radar can lock us up. We need it to be targeting us in order for the harm missile to get a firing solution. In order to target the radar, you need to hand off the data to the missile. You do this by pressing the cage and uncage button. You can cycle between targets on the screen using the FOV button. A radar designated by a letter, like this one, is usually a search radar. The radar designated by a number is usually a tracking radar. Ideally we want to attack the tracking radar. Let's unhand the search radar. There's the tracking radar. Hand it off. Magnum. Takes a second or two for the next harm to come online. They're really locking us now. Hand off. Magnum again. Ok, let's evade and drop countermeasures. Let's turn back in, see if we can take out that search radar. No tracking radar, the SAM site can't engage us, but watch out for other threats in the area. There's the search radar, hand off. Magnum. Ok, we can go home now. I've been Dan, you've been watching DCS and 3 or less from Got Space Game. Hit the subscribe button for more 3 minute DCS tutorials covering all of your favourite modules.